Hey, welcome back to Behind the Screen. I'm a 30-year-old man who recently just watched Frozen for the very first time, and I'm not ashamed to say it was fantastic. But there's one glaring issue that I need to talk about. Where do Elsa's powers come from? The movie really glosses over the whole one of these kids has magic powers thing at the beginning there. Not much is said about where Elsa got her powers, or why, or how, but all we know is that she has them, and they're strong. It's pretty frustrating, especially for someone like me, who likes to know things. Well, a thing that I do know is that they're making a Frozen Part 2, set to release in November of this year. We still don't know exactly what the story will entail, but according to producer Peter Del Vecco, audiences will, quote, understand things better in the first movie after you've seen the sequel. Alright, so that's some vague foreshadowing that implies we'll get a better understanding of all the inexplicable magical absurdness that transpired in the original movie. According to co-director Chris Buck, a lot of the story in this movie will be reserved for Elsa's character development. He said, quote, She had such a dramatic journey, and at the end, she's just starting to feel like she can open up and have some fun again. Looking past the part where he says, We could have a lot of fun with Elsa, which I didn't like, it sounds like they'll be diving into the character a lot more, which hopefully means we uncover exactly how and why this girl can shoot ice beams out of her palms. Here's what else we know about Frozen 2. Elsa and Anna are back, along with Kristoff, Sven, and Olaf. The Dream Team is back, baby! Judging by the latest trailers for the sequel, the movie is set to be a lot darker than the original. The seasons change and it appears as though winter is fading into a dreary spring. The tones are a lot more ominous and scary, which makes a lot of sense considering Elsa and Anna aren't kids anymore and adulthood is ominous and scary. We've also been introduced to two new characters, a red-headed woman who displays some kind of telekinetic power, and a blonde-haired man. I'd give you more details, but I'm all out. They just sprung two entirely new characters on us, and just expect us to patiently wait until the movie comes out months from now before we find out who they are, without speculating on it to no end, as if that's an option. So here's our theory. The two new people are going to be the King and Queen of Arendelle. In the first movie, we see them pass away at sea, but did they really? It's implied, but we never actually see it happen. We all assume they didn't make it out of that awful looking shipwreck, but it's not impossible that they survived. I also never would have predicted that I'd be making YouTube videos about the animated movie Frozen at this stage in my life. Where was I? Right, it's possible that these two new characters are King Agnar and Queen Iduna. Ad Iduna? I don't know. Either as survivors of the shipwreck, or perhaps in a flashback type of capacity. There's been a number of different hints that this sequel will allow audiences to get to know the parents a lot better. One example, in an interview with Variety, the movie's songwriters, Kristen Anderson Lopez and Robert Lopez, said this movie will allow audiences to quote, get to know the parents a lot better. We also know that Evan Rachel Wood and Donald K. Sterling are not only middle name enthusiasts, but also have roles in Frozen 2. We don't know what roles they'll play, but something tells me it'll have something to do with these two new people on screen. There's even a point in the new trailer where a troll tells Elsa that the past is not what it seems, and she must go north to find the truth. So her magical powers probably play into this whole, the past is not what it seems malarkey, and we'll discover more about her backstory here. Two new characters, potentially her parents, so that must be where her powers come from, right? It wouldn't make sense for a child to be born with supernatural abilities completely out of the blue. It's gotta come from one of them, but which one? There's evidence that it would be from her mother. For starters, there's the red-headed woman in the trailer. If that is Elsa's mom, then that woman certainly has powers. Boom, mystery solved. The other possibility is that Elsa got her powers from her papa. While the mother-daughter correlation is an expected one, there's actually a lot more evidence pointing at King Agnar having some sort of mystical abilities. After all, he seems to be a lot more informed than the Queen does. I know where we have to go. At the beginning of the first movie, Elsa accidentally endangers her sister Anna by way of magical ice blast. When Elsa calls for help, it's the father who barges in and proclaims, This is getting out of hand! 
He also runs over to the bookcase, which contains an old book that just happens to be in the family library. He opens it up and finds a map that leads right to the secret troll hideout in the forest. This clearly isn't new information to him. Had King Agnar been to visit the trolls before? When the humans get to the troll base camp, they immediately recognize him and shout, It's the king! That implies that they not only know who he is, but they recognize him. They didn't have social media or television back then, so the only way you really knew what someone looks like is if you've seen them before. When the grandfather troll asks how Elsa got her powers, he phrases it by asking, Born with the powers or cursed? Uh, born. It's important to note that he doesn't see the powers as a curse. He also fully knows about them. Perhaps because he's got his own special abilities that we just aren't privy to. We can also decipher that the king hasn't brought Elsa to the trolls before now, seeing as how they've never seen her before and are asking all these nosy questions. The king does, however, know about her powers and knows about the trolls and their knowledge. How did he know about them and how did he know to just bring his injured daughter there? Well, the most sensical explanation is that he went through this himself at some point. I know where we have to go. I know where we have to go. I know where we have to go. Then there's the case of the gloves. Elsa's father gives her the gloves to keep her powers at bay. He tells her they should help, which they do. Throughout the movie, we see magic spurt out from pretty much every part of Elsa's body, including her chest and her feet. But for some reason, when she puts on those gloves, she's able to control her outbursts. Even the shackles placed on her hands when she's being held captive aren't enough to subdue her magic prowess. But those thin satin gloves? Impenetrable. That's because those ain't no ordinary gloves. Them's the magic gloves. <laughs> so where on earth did the king get a pair of magic gloves, perfectly calibrated to help control the one otherworldly thing his daughter needs help controlling? Where did those things come from? Perhaps they've been in the family for a long time because Elsa isn't the only one with powers here. Perhaps the gloves belong to the king, or maybe even one of his siblings. Yep, that's right. We've spent all this time theorizing which parent of Elsa's the powers came from, but what if it was neither of them? There's a theory that the king had a sister with similar powers. It would explain where the powers come from, why they had special gloves ready to go, and why there's a helpful book on magic and trolls in his library. He handles the whole situation with Elsa as if it's something he's been through before, which he actually might have. It would also help explain why the king and queen keep their daughter so secluded inside the castle. My prediction is that the king had a sister with powers, only people weren't comfortable with her abilities and something awful happened to her. Therefore, they kept Elsa's talents under lock and key, fearful of anyone finding out about her affinity towards snow magic. When the townspeople learn of Elsa's abilities near the beginning of the first movie, they react with immediate negativity towards it. Monster! Monster! They treat her like a monster and shun her. Perhaps Arendelle has been through some sort of other magic mishap in the past that we aren't aware of. It would stand to reason that a traumatic prior experience centered around a loved one would be enough to make the king act the way he does. He's been through this before and doesn't want Elsa to meet the same fate as his sister. It might sound like we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves with this elaborate prediction, but it would make complete sense in every regard. If Elsa's powers aren't derived from the king's sister having powers of her own, then I will personally pay $10,000 to the last person to comment on this video. Yep, the last person, 10 Gs. So whether it's from the mom, the dad, or the aunt, Elsa's powers have to come from somewhere, right? If the explanation is just it's a random kid with inexplicable powers that was born to a family of regular people, I'll actually flip out. My brain can't handle that sort of logic right now. I need reason. I need an explanation. I need tie-ins and callbacks that wrap everything up nicely. And I have faith that Frozen 2 will deliver just that. So where do you think Elsa's powers come from? And is she the only one in the family who has them? Perhaps Anna has some funky mojo of her own. What are your thoughts? Drop a comment in the section below where the comments roam freely. Also, you'd be doing us a big favor if you click that thumbs up button and subscribe to Behind the Screen so that we can keep getting worked up over animated movies for your enjoyment. Until next time, bye!